So a few days ago, I was perusing the Surface Duo subreddit as I am wont to do, and I came across a particular post. And I'll show you what it looked like here in the only form that I can really show you. It was this video here, wherein this Reddit user had taken an image, a video actually, not an image, a moving image, videos as we call them, uh, today in 2022, and they had applied this as their wallpaper on their Surface Duo. You can see this is a sped up video, so you can see this thing go down and go back up and so forth, but this was a video that someone else had already created, but they use an application to set this as their wallpaper. I took this video, I tweeted it with a link to the Reddit post, but as you can see, if you try to go to that Reddit post, it is not found. And of course, I had multiple people asking me, Shane, how did they do this? Where is this post? And I said, I don't know, I got, it got deleted. They used some sort of app that sets a video as a wallpaper. Well, luckily, that user managed to find me on Twitter. They sent me a direct message and they let me know what app they were using and they also linked me to that video. So shout out for reaching out and letting me kind of share this with everybody because there was a decent amount of interest in this. And it's actually pretty simple in terms of the how to do. The first thing you need is this app on your phone. Okay, just go to your Google Play Store and search for this video to wallpaper. Find that, download it, and it's really, really simple to use. I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now the next part is that you need the actual video that they were going to set. Now the good news is you can set any video that you would like to set, it doesn't matter. Any video you have, you can you can use this app to set it as your wallpaper. Now you can scroll down and you can find the files here, download. I just downloaded the highest resolution one because I feel like that's gonna look the best. The screen's very high res, so download the highest resolution version of it. Once you've got that downloaded, link in the description, and you download the app, link also in the description. We will jump over to the phone we will actually go about setting this thing. And it's really simple. You're just gonna open up video to wallpaper. You're gonna click on the plus button. You're going to browse to that video. Now what I did is I actually made a folder called video wallpaper to keep these videos in because they were in my download folder. And then I think if you delete it out of there, I think the wallpaper stops working. It just goes black, that happened to me. So I've moved them to their own little location to keep them nice and safe. You would simply select that video hit OK, and then it will live right here in your list of videos. We're gonna do the one from the original post first. We're gonna click on Apply, and it says you need to choose your wallpaper, so click OK, click Video to Wallpaper, hit Set Wallpaper on, I'm just gonna do my home screen, and you're done. That's pretty much it, it is up and running. Now one thing you're gonna immediately notice though is that the bar at the bottom where your apps are is now black, and this is, for me, pretty flippin' annoying. I hate that black bar down there because before it's usually like a blurred transparency effect. Now it is just a black bar. The reason for this is because best I can understand it, Microsoft Launcher creates that blurred effect there of your wallpaper at one time. It is effectively pre-calculated, right? So on a video, it can't do that. It can't pre-calculate that. It's not dynamic, it is static, right? So with a video, it can't do that. Now, I will also point out very quickly, this is a little bit of, of an aside, but we'll cover it. If you have this black bar on a normal wallpaper, just an image, you may have a setting that's wrong. Go into your settings, go to apps and notifications, see all apps, scroll down to Microsoft Launcher, which I think we've scrolled quite a ways past. Select it, go to your permissions, and make sure that uh, files and media are set to all files. Because like I said, the launcher needs access to that background in order to calculate the blurred stuff down there on that bar. If it doesn't have access to your media, it cannot do this. So if you got the black bar, set it to allow management of all files, go back, and then force stop it. It'll take a second, the launcher will come back. Theoretically at that point, that bar will now have the blur instead of having black with no transparency. But at any rate, you can see here that this wallpaper, video wallpaper, is working just fine. It looks a bit smoother in person than it does being streamed over here to this. One problem that I do have is that when I wanna to change to a different video, that does not seem to work. It just thinks it's applied, but it is in fact not. What you have to do is actually go in and change your wallpaper to literally anything else. Then go back in, hit apply again, go through this process a second time, set wallpaper to the home screen, 
and then it will work. So there's a small quirk with that, right? You need to kind of set a wallpaper and then go back to it, but that's kind of a minor inconvenience. And especially if this is a really cool thing to you and this is something that you want to use, I think it works quite well. So once again, massive shout out for sending me the direct message with that video in it as well as the application that you were using. Thanks for doing that. So guys, hopefully this was fun for you, a little customization thing for your Surface Duo or Duo 2. This works on any phone, right? So on any phone you wanna do it on, but of course this is targeting you Duo and Duo 2 users because we have such large, beautiful screens to put stuff like this on. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.